Hi, I'm Jacqueline with Erie Tech, and today we're at Eaton's Power System Experience Center. We're going to take a look at motor control center solutions. Behind me, we have an Eaton MCC, or Motor Control Center. One of the things we like to call an MCC is a Swiss Army knife. So we consider it the Swiss Army knife of the electrical world because of its diverse capabilities and different components that we can install. This ranges from motor controllers like full voltage reversing, full voltage non-reversing, contactors, to even VFDs and soft starters. Additionally, we like to call our MCC a power center, and that's because of the ability to install feeders to feed whatever loads you may have, HVAC, lights, whatever that might be. And lastly, MCC is also capable of accommodating different control devices and different distribution panels. So we're also considering the fact that an MCC can install a panel board or transformer, potentially even an ATS or automatic transfer switch. To give you a little bit more details on the MCC as a whole, these configurations can come 16 or 21 inches deep. Additionally, there's the option for bolted back-to-back -back or front and rear mounted MCC. So that means we can have these buckets on the rear of the MCC as well. Now, the MCC does offer the option for plug and play capability. What this means is we're able to take these units in and out of the MCC um, and possibly do maintenance, uh, routine maintenance and plug that bucket back into the MCC or even a new bucket. We can also make changes throughout the MCC depending on whatever applications you may have in the field. Now, talking about changes, we also want to consider that Eaton has a host of aftermarket solutions. What this means is that we can actually supply replacement buckets for a number of MCCs, not just Eaton's MCCs. Typically, your MCC may be out there in the field for 20 years, and it may not be time to completely replace your MCC, but replace individual buckets or the structures themselves. I want to talk to you now about Eaton's safety solutions. So within an MCC, one of the simplest solutions that we have is an inherent nature of the MCC. It allows us to isolate each bucket from the bucket next to it or the bucket above and below. Each unit shares a common bus, so that means when you turn one breaker off, that unit now becomes de-energized. Within the buckets, there are other safety solutions we can consider. This can range from absence of voltage testers to different continual thermal monitoring solutions. Um, but the MCC as a whole also has a system-wide solution, one of which being the arc res, arc resistant MCC, or flash guard, which really focuses on a Rototrack, Rototrack technology. Here we have a flash guard MCC and we want to demonstrate how a Rototrack actually works. As you'll notice, the indications on the each side of the MCC tell you whether your stabs are disconnected and whether the shutters are actually closed or open. So I just re unracked the bucket or racked it out and I can rack it back in. You'll see the indicators turn red and red. Now that we've seen what a remote racking Rototrack device does, let's take a look behind the scenes to see how this actually functions. You'll notice the stabs start to come out the rear of the unit and as those stabs exit the unit, there are shutters that open to allow access to the bus in the rear of the MCC. Once the unit is completely racked in and locked, we also have a mechanism here that locks the unit into the MCC to prevent it from being removed while engaged to the bus. And we'll take a look here to see what it looks like when we remove the stabs. Now the stabs have been disengaged and the shutters are closing. And you'll see this locking mechanism has gone down allowing us to remove that bucket from an MCC. Now that we've looked at safety solutions, we wanna take a look at some of the features that MCC has as a whole. One of our greatest features is the fact that we offer so many communication protocols here with Eaton MCCs. 
We offer anything from Modbus RTU serial to Profibus or DeviceNet, and even into a host of industrial Ethernet uh, capabilities. What this allows us to do is connect to PLCs, DCSs, SIS, any type of upstream control system and really integrate an MCC within a building's actual control system infrastructure. From flexibility, safety to connectivity, Motor Control Centers might be the solution for you. Contact us here at Erie Tech.